There's a place called Kokomo. That's where you wanna go to get away from it all. Bodies in the sand. Tropical drinks melting in your hand. And we'll be falling in love to the rhythm of a steel drum band. Down and go. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take it. Bermuda, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego, baby, why don't we go? You can be fast and then we'll take it slow. That's where we wanna go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our universe. The Cave-In Universe. We are your host. I am Vinny. And I am Kaylin. You can find us at The Cave-In Universe on social media and at thecaveinuniverse.com. And you can also email us at thecaveinuniverse at gmail.com. That's right. Just uh, pretty much The Cave-In Universe across the board. Yeah, um, for everything. So, yeah, thank you for listening, guys. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's uh, Day, To everyone. all the fathers out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And if you're listening and you want to support, just uh, please subscribe, rate, review. Send us and, an email. Uh, send us an email. Let us know your thoughts. Let yeah. us know uh, any com- comments, questions, suggestions. Yeah. And um, just spread the word. You know, if you're going to tell your friends, um, I always just say it's a comedy podcast where, uh, you know, a couple just talk shit about <laughs> whatever there is in the world and gives you some facts along the way. Yeah. You'll learn a thing or two on this podcast. Yeah. Um, either that or it's just a podcast for stoners. And you're just going to hear my conspiracy theories. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, this is basically uh, all the time. Like we're constantly talking shit. Yeah. Not about that. Everything. Yeah. Not that I'm a conspiracy theorist by by nature. It's just, yeah. you know, yeah, I just like to call out <laughs> bullshit, you yeah. know, especially with corporations and things like that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah. So uh, how, how's your week been? OK, so far I tried this new uh, piece D raspberry. Yeah, I mm-hmm. highly suggest it. It's really good. No, it's really good. Yeah, I mean, uh, we just got done having <coughs> some dinner, some J Dales, yeah. yes. so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, I mean, we we're supposed to record yesterday, but we got some things going on. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know what sucks is when somebody is struggling. You know, not to, not to take a dark turn, but we're just gonna take a dark turn real quick. Yeah. Come down. Not my, to take it, but we're gonna take yeah, it. Yeah. Let's come down <laughs> my 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 side of the universe. Um, so mental health is obviously an important thing to me and you know i'm in no means i'm fortunate for the life that i have yeah um but you know no matter who you are no matter where you come from eventually some things are going to break break you down yeah um you know whether it's the world around you which of course the world is in shambles right now um whether it's you know things that's going on personally um, money finances or job or you know because everyone's struggling right now you know yeah, everyone's struggling with money everyone's struggling uh with jobs um yeah so it's it's important to seek out to seek yeah. out help and it's important to have someone there for you and i'm thankful to you know to have you there for me whenever i need you yeah. um but there was a, a, a time this week where i did feel like i wanted to turn to an alternative source to try to help me and the first two things so so like i googled you know somebody talk to when you're going through a hard time you know and the first two things that popped up you know i clicked on first one was a questionnaire like basically asking if you're depressed okay so i fill out this questionnaire and it says it says you're depressed or whatever now this fucking website is not a doctor so they're not anybody to tell me what the fuck i am right yeah and then it says print out this form and give it to your doctor and it basically was the questionnaire and it was a a a form to prescribe you this certain medication that was uh you know a a sponsor of this fucking website so these people just use people that are 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 at a disadvantage they use people that don't know where to turn and the first thing that fucking pops up when you go on to Google is something to give you medication, something that probably yeah. it wasn't it was an ad. Mm-hmm. So that means that med, that corporation paid mil, probably millions of dollars to be the first thing that pops up when you struggle or when you type in that you need help. And it's yeah. all just to give you fucking medication for what, you know, for what? Yeah. So 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 you can have so you can have all these negative side effects to go along with it. So you can feel like a piece of shit if you don't have this pill. Like that's fucked up. And then the second thing was the actual website that did offer you to text somebody. 
upfront cost. So that means if you're struggling and you're on the brink of your own existence and you don't know what else to do anymore, oh, pay us some money and then we'll talk to you. Yeah. This world is fucking pathetic. These corporations, these medical, all these antidepressants are fucking pathetic. The one I I was prescribed anti uh, antidepressants one time in my life. I took that shit for a week and then I got off of it because it did worse when I was on the antidepressant than when I was off of it. You know, and it's like, you know, I mean, you know, we we get 100 listeners. I really don't care who knows this or who listens to this, but it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, It's it's ridiculous. The fact that these corporations and these medical companies and all this shit, they want to prey on delicate people just to have them pay their money and start to just feed them pills down their fucking throat yeah it's pathetic it it's is pathetic yeah uh all right well that was my rant for the day <laughs> <laughs> are we still recording uh yeah oh, okay we're still going okay i might cut that out i might not I'll, I'll decide after i listen to it i think it was good yeah mm-hmm. yeah right. yeah thank you it just okay look i was in the spot where i'm at i'm obviously okay right now yeah but what if i was somebody that had it much worse like i said i'm fortunate for where i am now but what if i was somebody that had it much worse and somebody that really needed that help yeah and they realized that those were their only options yeah that's fucked up it's fucked up i know there's always you know of course there's more websites you can click on i'm sure you'll find it but it's like in that moment when you're just when you're just in desperate need of something quick you do you really have to search through fucking google yeah like to find help i didn't mean i didn't mean by like those are their only options because i know like how you just said there's plenty of ways to help but like for those to be like the top two results you know yeah that's fucked it, up it's, yeah it's, yeah it's ridiculous it's ridiculous but i can i can be here on the other side and i can you know just just laugh and be happy and you know yeah. carry on with this podcast um you know like i said a lot of people are probably struggling with mental health right now a lot of people are struggling with finances with money whatever whatever your thing is um everybody everybody's struggling in some way or another and this is the number one time that we all need to stick together yeah and you know help each other out whatever way we can even that if that's just giving somebody just some extra support whether it's a text or you know anything yeah especially you know today's father saying you know call your dads talk to them ask them how they're doing you know actually don't don't hold grudges yeah don't hold grudges don't just call and say you know happy father's day and hang up you know actually see how they're doing because Hey, might not be might not be their next Father's Day. You never know. Yeah. Um. You know this coronavirus. It's like it went away. Of course, the media stopped talking it about it for a week. Went away in the media. Yeah, it went away in the but media. It I didn't back. go away. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. As much as another thing about these stupid ass corporations and politicians, the coronavirus is not going to go away just because you want to open up Texas or just because you want to open up the United States. It's not going to go away just because you say I need to open my business. It's going to do whatever it wants to do. This is our selfish. This is our selfishness. Human beings were fucking selfish that we think that we get to say when when nature does anything. Yeah. You know, like. The only thing we contribute to nature is fucking up the earth and contribute to global warming. That's the only thing we contribute. Other than that, nature's going to do whatever it wants to do. If this virus yeah. wants to spread, it's going to spread. Yeah. You know, it's going to spread. Um, so the fact that everyone thought that magically this virus was just going to go away. Oh, let's just let's open up Texas. Everybody gather around and yeah. don't wear a mask. And, <laughs> you know, we're going to we're just going to go back to normal. Yeah. We're tired of this. It's either. <clears throat> Uh, and, and I'm not and I'm not one of those guys that's saying like we should have stayed in lockdown longer. I mean, I don't know. I mean, wh- what do you think could have been done differently with this whole coronavirus situation? I think people could have maybe taken it more serious since right. the beginning. You know, it's just as simple as wearing a mask. Yeah, exactly. You know? oh, and I know I know sometimes me personally, I get upset because I don't like to wear the mask. But then I don't know. Now that it's gotten worse, I have like a different perspective on that it's like okay just wear the damn mask you yeah know? people are like oh i'm an american i don't have to wear a mask yeah people okay. are literally saying talking shit saying i'm not gonna do that shit that's yeah i have a right I, I, like, again seriously? selfish selfish it's just a piece of fabric selfish so at most you're either preventing somebody from getting it or you know people say like oh i can't get it so let's say if you have a mask and somebody has a mask yeah that's the least way you can get it other than, you know, staying at home. Yeah. So at most you could prevent something, yeah. you know, whether it's a small percentage or not, you can prevent something. Yeah. Because and you never know. You could pick it up, you know, choosing not to wear a mask and then pass it to somebody else who has a family who has a poor immune system. You just never know. Yeah. Not only are you trying to protect yourself, but protect the others around you. Fuck. Yeah. And let's say there isn't, you know, a coronavirus spot around you. Or let's say you, you know, whether you wore the mask or not, somehow magically we know you wouldn't have gotten infected. Let's say that, right? 
at, at least you're, you're just wearing a piece of fucking fabric on your Literally. face. You really are that stubborn and that selfish that you just don't want to wear a piece of fabric on yeah. your face? Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, seriously, like, if you're listening to this and you're one of those, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, I'm all on it today. I'm angry. I know, right? I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> Let it out. Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, so today we're actually going to talk about Space Force and the uh, Jimmy O. Yang uh, Good Deal. Good Deal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because, cause, yeah, we, we finally realized why it was called yes, that. Yes, we did. Yes. They mentioned it <laughs> multiple, it was good. It multiple was good. times. Yeah. Um, so Space Force, technically, we uh, we watched this. We finished watching this like two weeks ago. We, we meant we did, to, yeah. yeah, we meant to. Do we this. meant to do this sooner, but yeah, yeah. But so it's not going to be an exact breakdown or exact review as we remember it. But hey, um, you know, we're we're not Watch Mojo. We're not a review I podcast. Know, yeah, so if exactly. you want to really break down that, watch go watch Mojo. one of those or go listen to one of those. Yeah. Well, yeah. Same thing. We were going to do a bunch of lists and things like yeah. that, but not all the time. Yeah. You know? True. So what do you, I mean? What do you think? So about overall, Space Force, uh, Space Force um, when I first when the preview actually first came out, the trailer for Netflix, um, people kept saying, you know, oh my god, it's like a office version, uh, office version, but in space, you know, like a right. like the office, but in space. What I mean, you know, right. and so I was curious, you know, being in a really big office fan right you know overall i think it was good you know it's not like the office it's obviously not a mockumentary but it had some good laughs and i liked steve carell saying fuck and bitch and stuff like yeah that. like i do like i mean <laughs> yeah. i do like the cussing it, it does yeah. make it more in a way like because you have those people that are like oh i don't like cussing in movies and things yeah. like that but in a way it makes it more realistic uh, to me, yeah mm-hmm. you know because everybody cusses exactly you know? there's yeah. you're not gonna go anywhere where people are like oh we're not yeah. you know i don't know just, that's why nowadays i don't believe when somebody's like oh no my child doesn't cuss or oh you God. know we we don't say the f word in this house yeah okay. well this is an explicit podcast <laughs> podcast so again if you're one of those get the fuck out of here <laughs> who are you the queen of england <laughs> <laughs> um one thing about space force um it it could have I, I so I think it could have been a mockumentary if they wanted to yes. because they could have done it like a real more realistic way where it's like covering the actual like space force that's yeah. you know well I mean in a way mm-hmm. that's what they're doing they're comparing it with the real space force that's yeah. coming up but they could have done it as if like you know this this film crew is is filming yeah, space, following the space force the space crew. force yeah, yeah as they're starting up and everything and they could have done that with little side interviews yes. like oh man like like even jimmy jimmy o yang and john malkovich like doing little talking they head well side together. interviews with them mm-hmm. with oh, steve I've, carell they were just well yeah that's another thing i've got yeah. a, a great cast um so honestly you ha- so you had steve carell obviously you had yeah. john malkovich you had ben schwartz which i didn't realize until like a few episodes sonic. in. That, that's fucking sonic <laughs> which sonic, is awesome yeah. um what is that uh what's it right well jimmy o yang of course um let's see who else dinosaurs what was the daughter who is she because uh, she was pretty Tom good Young, Newsom. Don Lake. Uh, oh, I think, I this think is Diana Silvers. Yeah. yeah, that's Aaron Nair. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. mean, just uh, she was good. Great cast. She pissed me cast. off in the, in the beginning, but oh yeah, she's yeah. a little yeah, she's, she's a little, little bitch. Brat. Yeah, she's a little brat. <laughs> um, so I mean, overall, I mean, it's like they had that beef with China in Space yes. Force, um, which we find out later that Jimmy O Yang's dad yes. was actually the actor yeah. in Space Force. Yeah, we need to talk Force about his time on Joe Rogan next. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so his dad basically did a whole scene with John Malkovich. Yeah, and so, so, go, go, how does his um, remind me? How does how does his dad become yeah, an actor? Okay, how so did this basically, whole thing start? his dad literally is kind of like always wanting to try and one up him. That's right. the way he makes like it in seem. real life. Yes, yes, in real life. Yeah. So he when his son, um, you know, Jimmy O Yang becomes an actor, he's like, oh, I want to be an actor. You know, like he's like he's just always trying to be like who his son is, you know. And right. honestly, what I notice is Jimmy, he's kind of a little salty. He's right. a little salty about it. Yeah, because yeah. he even comes right out and says, you know, I don't want to be known as or what's his dad's name? Richard. Yeah. Right. Richard. Okay. Um, you know, I don't want to be known as Richard's son. You know, I want to still be known like how he is now. He's the famous one. He's Jimmy O. Yang. That's how everybody knows him. But he doesn't want his dad to, you know, get more popular than him. Yeah. Said he even said too that his dad uh, now wants to get into stand up. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Oh and mind God. you, I think he says his dad's like in his seventies. Yeah, his yeah. dad is literally that's like a psychological relationship there where they're <laughs> yeah. right. They they're just try and one up each other. They literally just always try to one up yeah. each other. But hey, I guess like like you said in the uh, like you said in the the stand up special, that's how they show love, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was but, your favorite episode on Space Force? 
Ooh. So, I mean, what are options here? Let's see. Can we can we pull up some episodes here? Yeah. Let's see here. I also got um, a peach peace tea. So we're going to try that one probably tomorrow. <laughs> I just want to throw that in there. <laughs> so we have the launch, save, Epsilon, Epsilon 6, Mark and Mallory go to Washington, Lunar Habitat, Space Flag, The Spy, Edison James, <laughs> Conjugal Visit. <laughs> Uh, it's good to be black on the moon, or it's good to be black. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> yes, yes <laughs> because I was up. thinking of the quote. That's what she says. Yeah, yes, because the so thing she goes throughout the whole episode, she's trying to decide what she's gonna say when she's the first black woman on the moon. Yes, and her first words are, "It's good to be black on the moon." <laughs> Oh, that's so great! And then they start funny, like yeah. uh, she's on like TikTok. She's like becomes TikTok famous yeah, and stuff like that. Wow. And then I what is that. this one right here? I can't read that. Pro- proportionate that response. Yeah. So, there we go. what's your favorite episode? Let's see. Uh, Lunar Habitat. What's <laughs> yours? Mine is Conjugal Visit. Mine's probably the Spy, just because the whole thing with at the end with John Makovich singing that. Um, What's that guy's name? Is it Gary Newman, the singer? He sings a Toy Story song. You got a brand in me. Oh, when he's on the screen and he gets yeah. embarrassed. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is it Newman? Let me see. You got a friend in me. <laughs> you got a friend in me. What the heck? Uh, I don't think. <laughs> Just put yeah. you got a friend in me. Yeah. Randy Newman. Not Gary Newman. Randy. <laughs> it's oh, it's Randy, Randy Newman. Newman. Okay. Yeah. Space. Randy Newman. Horse. Randy. What? Eh. Man. It's not coming up. It's that I can cut all this part out. Actually, you know what? I can just pull up Netflix on oh. this bitch. All right. Here it is. Lord, you made me think to <laughs> He's all embarrassed. Oh, my God. This is cringy. <laughs> that boy's out of this world. Please make it stop. No, no, no volume. <laughs> the first day we met, I remember that beautiful singer. You know, right? moved in. Oh gosh, uh, we're gonna have video up soon. If you can just attack. see this, yes. oh so hilarious. Watch this episode, Carol. The Spy, Space Force. That boy's out of this world. <laughs> Steve Wait, wants to cry. Wait, you watching him for like two years? That seems problematic. I'm aware of the optic space. Oh my God, poor guy. I love how like smart and witty he is. Yes. Like yeah, because he plays a scientist. Its beauty reminds me of my favorite guy. And though I'm not crazy about the didgeridoo, I guess what I'm saying is I love you. All right. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I just realized something That's though. Great. What? That's not the Toy Story song. No, it's not, but it's the sing the the, oh, the singer, same singer the same okay, singer I sings that song. Yeah, it's not like, the Toy Story song, but it's the I was thinking a Ran- it's a, I think it's a Randy Newman song. Yeah. Uh, okay, 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 that uh, makes sense. Sorry. But I didn't know what that song was unless I remembered the yeah. The, uh, oh, okay, okay. That's why I was like, okay, so who's good, the one good. that sings the Toy Story? You're song? good. You're good. Sorry. Um. So yeah, my favorite episode. You, what was yours? Mine is the conjugal visit. Conjugal visit. Yeah, is there any because, certain scene or? Yeah. Well, actually, there was um basic the scenes with Steve Carell and um well Mr. Neard, General Neard actually, yeah. and his wife. You know, his and wife's in dunk. prison. Yeah. <laughs> and um, how you know, obviously the conjugal visit is you go and you visit somebody who's in jail, but you go to your own room. You know, so you, for right. sexual. Relations. You didn't know what a conjugal and visit was. I did didn't. You? No, sorry, I've never known anybody in prison. <laughs> I mean, I've mean, never. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I wasn't aware. You've never heard of it. No. God, you were sheltered Honestly. as a kid. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's yeah. Not a bad thing. Um, what's it called? So yeah. So you go for sexual relations, and you know, uh, Aaron, his daughter, tags along, but she doesn't know throughout the entire thing until she gets to the prison that he's there for a conjugal visit. So when he has right. to tell her, she's like. Oh my god! And oh, you know she runs off and makes friends with the ladies in the jail. Remember? Yeah, she, like, through the fence. Yes. <laughs> and they like run together. And yeah, shit like that. but I th- I thought it was like a good episode because it showed how like uh, General Nerd he went you know to be with his wife, and they're having trouble and they end up just talking the whole time. You know she's talking about you know moving on and she- I think it's like a deep episode. Yeah, it is yeah. pretty deep. And then her, my most favorite part at the end is when he's so upset. He goes and leaves, you know, gets in the helicopter 
and forgets his daughter. Yes, oh my I God. loved that part. And then it just ended. And it never showed like right. he went back, but obviously he because in obviously he went back because in the beginning of the next episode she's like, you know, back home. Oh yeah. <laughs> so but I just so, thought that was hilarious. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. That's uh you know, I'd watch that series again. Or oh, um, yeah. well, I mean season two. Mm-hmm. Season two Hopefully, is yeah, it was a, they left with a cliffhanger. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, but I mean, pff, Netflix is doing pretty good. They got that floor is lava. Yeah, the floor is lava. Uh, we're we just currently in the middle that. of watching that. Yeah, yeah, we just watched the first episode, and it's like, <laughs> like I said, they they hit the jackpot on everybody around like our age that yeah. would hit that nostalgia button of. I literally remember playing that. Yeah, you know, hotels, the the living room, like yep. anywhere you went. You, yes, if you were bored yeah. before you had you know handheld games. Bed. Um, yeah, even sometimes I'd have my Game Boy and I'd still play The Floor is Lava. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. you just play with friends or Childhood you know, family. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that's a good show. I mean, we still got to run through. Uh, I used to watch Avatar The Last Airbender when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. but I, wanna, I, I haven't seen it. So I always watched it. Yeah, yeah, I always watched it when it was just like on Nickelodeon. So I never really, I don't think, watched it in sequence. So oh, I love yeah. to watch it in sequence like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, what other good things are on Netflix? Netflix is... Always pumping out shows, right. man. We need to uh, have a Netflix only. Our favorite yeah. shows on Netflix or well, something. Yeah, and then it's like all it's like a whole competitive top nature. Top ten recommendations. Yeah, yeah we could honestly, do that. Yeah, yeah, because there are some hidden gems on there. Yeah. Honestly, there's yeah, some movies honestly. that I've seen that I'm like, whoa, like these these are good. You know, the, everybody needs to know about these. Maybe yeah. we should do that. You know, yeah, that's a good idea. Because Disney Plus, I mean, <laughs> I, I got it for the Mandalorian, and then after that, I just canceled it. Like everyone else, yeah. you watched it for the Mandalorian, or just to get mm-hmm. your little nostalgic kicks of your childhood movies and shows, and then that's it. You cancel it. I <laughs> actually, when Disney Plus came out, do you remember nonstop? I was watching Hannah Montana yeah, exactly. and I finished all yeah. episodes, all seasons. That's what I mean. Yep. You, you, you subscribed either the men learn was the only thing they really had going for them. They have some national yeah. geographic uh, stuff, but I mean, yeah, that I won't saw make some me, good documentaries that, on there. Yeah. But that's just like, to me, that's just an extra. That's not what's going to yeah. make me pay my, the, you know, whatever 10 bucks a month it is. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. So it's like you hit that nostalgia button and mm-hmm. then you're done. Yeah. Hulu's trying to catch up. I mean, they have solar oh, yeah. opposites. They have some good we things. Were, on that Hulu. was good. We finished that. Yeah, but I mean, Hulu's just worth to get like the, the ad version. That's all yeah. it's worth. Honestly. honestly, yeah. Um, what other streaming platforms are there out there now that we're talking about it? Oh, Crunchyroll, yeah. all the anime. We watch Prime. Huh? We use Prime. Prime. Yeah, yeah, we use Prime. Um, yeah, I can't wait for. Uh, if y'all don't know, I am a Dragon Ball fan, so I can't Ooh, wait. Oh yeah. Uh, for more Dragon Ball to come out. If they do, I actually haven't heard anything. On so Crunchyroll. Ma- uh yeah well i mean that's usually what i want to watch it on is yeah. uh, country yeah. but i haven't heard anything in a while i mean they had the the movie um but i don't know maybe we'll do an episode on uh some some dragon ball breakdown if yeah, we hear maybe. any any news on on the future seasons yeah um, i know the manga is uh they've already got like a whole arc done on the on the manga which is like basically like the comic book version of it Oh wow! I don't know if I sorry if I offended any manga fans by calling it a comic book, but um, <laughs> yeah, I know some people. Some people take that shit to heart. Really? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see if they do anything on that. Nice. Um, the so w- w- what else? Uh, well, we actually didn't get into. Uh, we watched the Jimmy O Yang stand up. Yes. So how overall? How did you feel about that? Uh, uh it was actually pretty funny. Yeah. I mean, I. He was funny. Yeah, like you said, I because you asked, like, did you know him before Space Force? And yeah. I think it was like I heard of him uh, mm. through Silicon Valley, yeah. but I never watched that show. So I didn't know what Silicon Valley was. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know who he was until I watched Space Force. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. T.J. Miller too, I think, is on Silicon Valley, and I like oh, him. Yeah. He's a good comedian. Oh yeah. Um, but so yeah, so then I saw him on Space Force. Yeah. Thought he was pretty good on that, and then on Joe Rogan is when it really we really got to see you know yeah. who that person really That's was. That's where he you know was able to advertise his stand up special. Yeah. So that's how we were like, oh, we need, we should watch that. You yeah, know? and that's a, a lot of thing about Joe Rogan. It's like I don't like I discover a lot of people, and I guess that's why Joe yeah. Rogan is so popular. Oh yeah. Um, we do some podception right now, podcast <laughs> talking about another podcast. Right. Um, but that's the reason why he's so popular is because all the guests he has, and then so you watch it for the guests you do know, and then you watch it for the guests that you want to know more about, and even yeah. guests you don't know mm-hmm. or topics you don't know, and yeah. just it's it's interesting. So. Yeah, that's when uh, I, I got to know him a little more, and I was like, "Dang, I want to watch a stand-up special." Yeah. Um. So we did a lot of Asian jokes, as as I thought. <laughs> yes, yeah. a lot of Asian references. Yeah, which yeah. I mean, hey, it's still funny, right? It is, yeah. Yeah. But, My uh, favorite, 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 favorite parts were when he was impersonating his dad. Oh, he did yes. it so well, yes. I couldn't stop laughing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, yeah. that was great. I He's mean, there was okay. There's okay. lo- yeah, yes, there's <laughs> lots of great there's lots of great pops in that yeah. in that uh in that special so overall I think I liked it. 
But yeah, so I mean, that was good overall. Yeah. Overall, pretty good. Uh, and I mean, Space Force, I can't wait for season two. Hopefully, they continue with it. Yeah, hopefully um, soon. I think they said sometime next year. Yeah, 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 pretty good. Hopefully. Yeah. Is there anything else uh, we're missing out on? Oh, yeah, that's right. I mean, one thing I wanted to mention is, wanted have you heard? Up, yeah. Have you heard all the news about this? Basically, it's like, is it a new hashtag? This hashtag speaking out. I think so. It's crazy i know it is fucking crazy it, i have seen some of the, i know like you were seeing some stories about wrestlers and i've seen more of like celebrities like. yeah so yeah so I, that's the main thing is like apparently a whole list which is this is like i'm not saying i'm not trying to defend anybody yeah by all means. not in any way but the fact that the list is so large suddenly you would have to think that the whole world is a piece of shit or like some of this is not what it seems yeah. obviously yeah um and that's the sucky part about things like this is i know it's a tragic thing but you have to be honest and don't do it for attention yeah. just don't mm -hmm. because it's like this like we'd say thing about good cops and bad cops oh there's good cops out there yeah but the bad cops make it make it worse yeah for the good cops same thing with this if you're just doing it for attention or you don't have the story right or you just you know, like the whole thing with Matt Riddle. Apparently, the chick was a stalker on yeah. him. So they, I you know, apparently he's good to go now. So it's like things like that. It's like, don't just do it for attention. Do yeah. it if you really need help. Because I understand it's like everyone's doing it. At, it that's the main thing. Everyone, you know, the negative things like, why is everyone doing it at once? Well, of course, I understand you. You feel better if you do it along with the crowd because, yeah. you know, it's like you're in this together. I understand that. But don't just throw your name in the hat just to seek attention because you make it worse for the people that really need that attention and really need that help. Yeah. That's, you know, that's my main problem with it is, is, you know, a lot of these we're finding out. It's like America 2020, you're guilty until proven innocent. Yeah. That's the state of the world we're in right now. And you could literally ruin somebody career, somebody's career and somebody's fucking life just because you want to seek attention or whatever you want. Yeah. If you're not serious and, you know, you're not going to be really honest about it, then don't don't be involved. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's just my view on it. And one thing too, like because some of these events happen like way before now, you know, suddenly people are, you know, like that's this is the trend going on. Everybody's speaking out now because they never have before. Yeah. But it's like you do realize that even though you're speaking out, all you're doing is just getting people to you know, just be, you're basically just getting attention you know because in a way it's not like anything criminally can be done like right. legally because right. it's happened so long ago you know that's yeah. a that's the sad thing with a lot of these cases is that you know people are like you know they're they go to the police station they're like oh i was raped it's like okay well when did this happen oh like uh 10 years ago yeah it's like ugh. And I know people, if they really go through that, they're scared. They don't know yeah, what to do. Yeah, which I understand to to. completely. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't because I've never been in that position, but I can imagine, you know, yeah. it's, I, I bet it's you, hard. You got, yeah, you can't, you can't do that. Like Somebody like, will help you. Yeah, exactly. Somebody can keep you safe. Yes, you got to turn to somebody right away. Uh, and that's the thing. Don't let life move on because it's sad, but nobody's going to take it seriously 10 mm -hmm. years later. And yes. Unless you have valid, significant proof. Yeah. Um, it just, it's sad that no one will, will take it seriously, but yeah. that's just that, you Once know, time has passed, it's just, it's, it's harder and harder to, to do it. And I understand, like I said, I understand if, you know, you're on that moment, you're scared, but you're telling me you're one, you're two, you're three, you're four, you're five, you can't turn to somebody. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Unless you're in or, a, there are situations like fucking Harvey Weinstein, where if you literally told anybody, that's it, you either your career was shattered or. You know, maybe people yeah. feel threatened or people do threaten people. So that's why. But I I'm sorry. I don't care what somebody told you. If you know me, if you like you're a personal, I mean, the only my circle is small. So it would only be family or, you know, two pe two other people other than family, yeah. you know, and you obviously. But if anyone came to me with that information and they said like, oh, they said not to tell anyone because they would do this, do this. No. I'd be like, I don't care what they said. We're going to go find them and we're going to deal with this right now. Yeah. Hopefully there's somebody like that in your life whether it's you know your family whether it's a friend whether it's a cop yeah there's somebody you got to turn to to help that will help you yeah and you have to remember too like it's super unfortunate that something like this has happened to you and you're probably wondering why did this happen to you but and there are other people out there so you have to remember that if somebody's doing this to you and you know you got to remember they can go out and do it to somebody else hurt somebody else in the way that you're feeling so why not you know like i said it's unfortunate that it had to end with you but just you got to have you got to make it end yeah. you know yeah exactly exactly and especially like 
you know, like I said, these people in power, they do it. And obviously those are the ones that people feel like there is no way out. But, yeah. you know. And just be aware of your surroundings. Yeah. But uh, karma's a bitch. And mm -hmm. that person is like, I mean, look at Weinstein. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein. That person's eventually, I mean, it's, it sucks when it takes so fucking long. Yeah. But eventually they get what's coming to them. Yeah. Um, hopefully it's just They'll sooner get what rather they than deserve. later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But just don't, don't ruin somebody's life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because you have don't make false claims to ruin somebody's life just because you don't like the person or you know you were yeah. obsessed with that person and yeah. you know they hooked up with you and didn't didn't give you the time of day it's like you know just because you made a bad choice in hooking up with somebody doesn't mean you're raped yeah you know like oh i shouldn't have fucked that guy blah blah yeah. blah he raped me it's like no you wanted to fuck that guy and the next day you realize you made a bad choice yeah there's lots of those people mm -hmm. and then they want to claim you know whatever yeah anyway that's enough uh <laughs> yeah oh, enough rambling on that subject yeah with all this cancel culture you know there's always yeah. no matter what you do there's always going to be people that, that, don't that don't like what you, you say yeah. that don't like what you're doing like it's gonna happen yeah. so these are just our views these are just our opinions you don't have to agree with us still peace and love over here on our side yeah um but yeah um speaking of peace and love you want to get out of here yeah <laughs> all right guys <laughs> let's do it so do you have anything else you want to say um no i think we're good all right all right all right guys well peace and love and you will hear from us soon bye guys